What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a fun one for you guys today. Today, we are using a Steely Spirit Berserker team that also features Scissor. Should be a fun one, should be able to grab some wins with it, and at the same time, use some new Pokemon that I have not seen on the rank ladder yet. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to join the Jeans community. But Steely Spirit Berserker over here is a really cool Pokemon that a lot of people do not know what it does. So Steely Spirit is an ability I think only Berserker learns, and it boosts himself and ally Pokemon's steel moves by 50%. So pairing it up with Scissor could make his bullet punch be very, very OP. So again, super excited to be using this squad. Hopefully we get the rock out with that combo. Get some wins for you guys. But Dantozo is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. This team features Dantozo and Tatsugiri, a very, very strong combo ever since this game has been released. Dantozo is unaware that leftovers has item, order up, wave crash, terror blast, and EQ for an amazing move set. Second Pokemon is going to be that Tatsugiri with Commander and a Choice Scarf as its item. It's got Dragon Pulse, Muddy Water, Draco Meteor, and Icy Wind. In our third slot, it's going to be that Berserker. It is actually Galarian Meowth, and it's basically a Gen 8 Pokemon. It's got Steely Spirit, which we already went over to boost Steel-type moves, and it's got the Chopple Berry as its item. It's got Fake Out for Flinches, Iron Head for Stab, Help in Hand for Ally Pokemon Bigger Damage, and we got Taunt for its final move. Scissor is in our fourth slot, and like I said, pairing this up with Berserker could make this Pokemon OP, because not only does it have Bullet Punch for first turn priority, it has Steel Terror type to boost that damage, it has Technician to boost that damage, it has the Choice Band to boost that da damage, and last but not least, it has Steely Spirit to boost that damage. So pairing it up with Berserker could make this thing ridiculously OP. And on top of that, Berserker has Help in Hand, like we already mentioned, so we can Help in Hand Scissor, go into Bullet Punch, and get all those boosts all combined in one. Scissor also has close combat, U-turn for stab, and sword stance to set up that plus two attack boost. In our fifth slot is going to be Shen Pao. If we don't feel like bringing Berserker, we can always bring Shen Pao to pair up with Scissor. It's got Swords of Ruin, the Focus Sash as an item, it's got Ice Spinner, Haze, Sucker Punch, and Sacred Sword. In our final slot is going to be another Fake Out user, and on top of that, a great Pokemon went going up against Trick Room Squads. It's going to be Iron Hands with Quirk Drive and the Assault Vest, Wild Charge, Drain Punch, EQ, and Fake Out for its four moves. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Steely Spirit Berserker Regulation D team. Match number one is coming at you guys. We're going up against a Gudra team. I should say Hisuian Gudra because that Pokemon is totally different than regular Gudra. But they also have Grimmsnarl. They also have Amoongus, Landorus with Intimidate, and then they got Volcarona and Cresselia. I do love Scissor, but something I forgot to mention, which I don't understand, is this Pokemon has Swords Dance, but it is a Choice Band Pokemon. So, kind of doesn't really make sense to me to have Swords Dance on a Choice Band Pokemon. But I guess that's very situational. Maybe if Grimstone wants to trick me, take off my Choice Band, we can kind of go from there. But, uh, that's fine. Uh, do I want to lead Berserker and Scissor? Because I, I think they're going to lead Intimidate, right? I really do think they are going to lead Intimidate, so I might just go Tatsugiri alongside with, like, Scissor. I could do that, or I could go Berserker and Scissor and maybe just go from there, because he, he's definitely going to intimidate me, right? We already see this coming, and I could fake it out, maybe just you turn out, and then kind of roll out from there, which I actually don't mind. So, you know what, I'm going to go into them too. I am going to also bring Shen Pao, and then last but not least, I think Iron Hand is going to be a great Pokemon, so I'm all about it. They're definitely leading Landorus, there's really no way around it. Maybe I should just lead my, uh, maybe I should just lead my Tatsugiri and just let it do work by itself, because that Pokemon's rather fast and it has high special attack, but, uh, Yesterday, I actually did not upload. Sorry about that, guys. I was actually golfing my four-hour golf day turned into a six-hour golf day. The course was backed up. We were waiting for holes, all that good stuff, but I did shoot really, really well. I did shoot very, very well. My PB, I shot an 82, hitting some nice little birdies, all that good stuff. I had a good day. I had a good day. And then afterwards, I went out with the boys, did not have time to record, so I apologize for that. But we're back on the daily upload grind. But who they end up leading? Gudra and who else? Gudra and what's your other Pokemon? Can I say Grimstrong? Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna fake you out and do I close combat or do I just bullet punch? I could just I might just double down into Gudra here. Gudra's a little bit annoying, right? Because he might just swap Grimstarl here. Or terrestrialize it. I think he's gonna terrestrialize Grimstarl. Let's see. Is it Grimmy? It is gonna be Grimstarl. So he's gonna terrestrialize Grimstarl. That's totally fine. He's gonna go into a straight ghost type. A nice little ghost type. 
So, I mean, you can set up screens, all that good stuff. That's fine with me. I'm going right after Gudra. Who protects? Are you kidding me? Nice little protect from the Gudra. This is going to be a pain in the neck match. This match is going to be a tough one here. <laughs> it's definitely going to be tough. Because he's... What are you doing here? What is Grimstrong doing here? You know, parting shot. Oh! Hurts the soul. Definitely hurts the soul. So he parting shots. He's going to switch out. He's probably going to go into Lando, if I had to guess. And at this point, I am going to have to sw hard swap my scissor here. And he gets off a free shelter. I don't like that one bit. I mean, I do have Sword Dance on my Iron Hands, which could definitely help us out here. But yeah, this is a problem right here. This is definitely a problem. He's going to get that attack drop. Steely Spirit is definitely going to help us out. So I might just taunt the Gudra this next turn. With Berserker, so it can't set up no defense boost. And then we can just swap our scissor. So yeah, that's going to be my play. And we can swap scissor into maybe like Iron Hands. Because you're going for, say, like an EQ or something like that. I wouldn't mind that. But I'd rather go into Iron Hands here all day. Hmm. Don't want to go into Iron Hands? Kind of. I do have a Terra Grass, which is good. I'm going to go into Iron Hands here. Nice, lovely Iron Hands. Nice, lovely Iron Hands. So they did waste their Terra on Grimstone, which I don't mind. It's just a parting shot. I'm going to swap into Iron Hands here. I can fake out next turn if I want to. He's just going to swap Gudra into... Back into Grimstone, maybe? I think it's going to go back into Grimstone. It's gonna be a Moogus, so this isn't a bad Pokemon to taunt here. EQ's gonna fly here, that's gonna chuck up some damage, and Berserker's able to soak, which is good for us. The taunt comes out here, and I'm thinking of just terrestrializing in the grass, and doing some damage onto that, uh... Oh, he shake off taunt already? Come on with that. But I'm thinking of just terrestrializing in the grass, maybe trying to get off an Iron Head if we can. You know, we can fake out... I'm gonna fake him out. We'll try to get off some value here, because this is tough. Back end Pokemons could be good for us. Shen Pal Scissor could really get some work done. But they just had a great lead up against us. Parting shot into the attack drop on Intimidate. Oh, that one hurt. That one definitely hurt. So we'll see what they want to do here. We're just gonna fake out the lovely little Lando. We get a crit. That's actually some big time damage with that. We're gonna flinch up on him. Iron Head's gonna fly here. We are minus one, but we're still chunking up some nice damage. It's gonna know that we outspeed him. Oh, never mind. Well, we're spored now. Maybe I should have just uh, taunted that Amoongus and kind of went from there. Maybe I should have just done that. But from here, he's just going to EQ again. And I guess we'll just try to try to get off as much damage as we can. So I'll just go into the Drain Punch. But we're definitely both dead here. I just think a nice little Protect from him comes out here. And now he's just going to EQ and KO us. That's fine. He's going to do some more damage on the Amoongus. And I don't think we're sitting in a terrible position. Both of those Pokemon go down. But I still have two very strong Pokemon in the back end. And I feel as swapping into them and letting them take damage was just a waste. So I kind of like that we let him die. The chances are he's going to swap... Oh, he palm puff against me HP. I was going to say, chances are he swaps land in this turn. Right? 100% he swaps land, though. Chances are he's going to swap Lando, and I'm going to have to choice into a move. And what move do I want to choice into? Because we know his other Pokemon. We know he has Grimstone, we know he has Amoongus, and we know he has Landers. And then what's his final Pokemon? I think we know it too. Yeah, it's gonna be Gudra. But do I want a choice to a close combat instead? I think I'd rather choice to a close combat. Would I? Actually, I'm fine with Bullet Punch. I really am. So from here, I'm actually just gonna Bullet Punch Amoongus. And I'm just gonna Ice Spin in this slot. Because I think he does swap Lando here. Yeah, he does swap Lando. So he's gonna swap Lando. Who am I going into? Gudra or Grimmy? going to be Gudra. So Gudra's going to come out here, and he's going to withdraw and go into Grimstone here. So he's looking to parting shot back out. He's just playing this one smart. He's going to parting shot one of my Pokemon next turn, but still, we're going to get off a nice chunk of damage here. The Bull Punch is going to fly here, doing some big time damage, and now we're choiced into that. The Ice Spinner is going to fly here, hitting that thing pretty hard, and what do I go into from here? Do I stick with the Ice Spinner? I mean, I think he parting shots with Grimstrong and goes into Intimidate. So I think from here, we're just going to hit up on this slot. And I'm just going to haze everything off the board. Make a hard read here. So I really do think the parting shot just comes out of here, right? And then he goes back into Lando. And at that point, we can just cancel. We can haze everything and kind of just go from there. But the problem is going to be Gudra here. 
Gudra's just gonna be the main problem. Getting rid of that. Getting rid of Gudra. I saw my terror though. I just saw my terror. We'll probably use it next turn. Again, I really do think it goes for a parting shot. Maybe in the scissor here. I'm kind of hoping he does. He's just gonna withdraw. That's fine. He's gonna intimidate us all. I'm fine with that. He didn't parting shot, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird he didn't go for the parting shot. I think he was thinking bullet punch might, might come out beforehand. And he ends up just withdrawing Gujar. Okay. Who are you gonna go into from here? I'm gonna go back into Amoogus with the Regenerator, which kind of hurts the soul. But Pull Punch gonna fly here. It's gonna chunk up some nice damage. And we're gonna haze everything. So I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. And now from here, I could Terrasalize Scissor into Straight Steel, or I can go U Straight Ghost. I feel as we get more value out of Scissor, Bull Punch him with a Steel Terror. So I am gonna stick with this, and I am gonna go into this side of that. Because I'm gonna do this. And I'm just going to Ice Spinner down and move this. So Haze was a great call for us. That was a big time read. He's going to swap Lando. We already know he's swapping Lando. But I really don't mind if he goes in like Grimstrong. Because then we can just take it out. And I can always Haze turns later. We'll see what he wants to do. I would love to get rid of Lando here. I would love for him to just kind of stay in here. Because if he does, we pick up a big time double kill. Which would be massive. It would be massive. So Scissor and Shen Pao getting some work done here. So we're going to Terrasalize Scissor now. We get off that big time Terra. And like I said earlier in the match, I feel as these two could really clutch it up for us. That's why I let the Iron Hands Berserker go down. I knew that Lando could just EQ and take us out, but I'd rather have these guys at full HP to get some work done. Knowing the power of these guys. So he ends up Rage Powder me. Okay. Can Bull Punch KO? Bull Punch might be able to KO this thing. I would love for it to KO. Because then Ice Spinner slides. KO, please. Let's go. Let's go. Scissor with the beautiful Terra. KO in that. Ice Spinner's gonna slide over. And you actually outspeed me. That is wild. He actually outspeeds me. And he's gonna go back into... Are you gonna go into Gudra here? Or are you gonna go into Grimstarl? That's the real question. Who are you going into here? This is such a good matchup. <laughs> this is such a good match. Who are you going into here? You going into Grimstarl? Okay, so Grimstarl's gonna die here. I'm super surprised that thing outspeed me. Might be choice. If we get rid of you, you're gonna go back into Lando, you're gonna go back into Gudra. And from here, I can bullet punch the Lando, get rid of it. And I could go from there, and I could haze. But the problem would be the 1v1. I kinda need a Sacred Sword into the, uh... Into the Gudra, right? Gudra's an issue. Such a good match. It's such a good match, but it's not looking too hot for us now that we're sitting here. When Intimidate comes out here. I wish I did have Protect. And I am just going to Bullet Punch into you. And I'm going to go for Sacred Sword. We'll see what they want to do here. There's no, there's no need to haze. I know we're minus one. I need to get off some big time damage here. We're hoping no Protect comes out here, and I can rip a Bullet Punch and rip a Sacred Sword here. I'm scared of body press. Bull punch is gonna fly. We are gonna get rid of Lando. I'm not hazing this turn because if I haze and get rid of the attack drop and he takes out Shen Pao, then we really get no value. I need a big time secret sword coming out here. We can't crit chance our shell armor, but still, that's I like that damage right there. He's gonna heavy slam the KO me. So heavy slam comes out here for the KO. I'm choice span, I'm stab, I'm technician boost, I'm terror boosted. Bullet punch. How much damage are you really doing to this? I know you can't crit. I know you can't crit, but the boosts are just ridiculous. You might protect here. This is such a good matchup. It's such a good match. But yeah, it just shows the power of Scissor and Shen Pao. If I had Berserker still, that could have been really, really cool. And if I wasn't choice banned here, oh my lord, I'd just close combat and finish this thing off. He probably knows I'm choice ban at this point. Um, he probably has body press here as well. Body press probably KOs me in one shot, correct? Makes sense. And he's going to get back some left of his HP. So I don't even know if we can do half HP to this thing. I'm trying to trying to see how much damage we can do. 
So he's probably going for a body press. I doubt he's going for a shelter. But I knew Guja was going to be a problem once I seen that thing. It's always a problem. The bull punch going to fly here. Hopefully this thing's not show armor and we can get a crit. Because it could be Sap Sipper, but chance are it's not. And yeah, we are just not nearly doing as much damage as we, as we could. He shelters up. That is going to be game. Because if I was him, I, I would just protect all that good stuff. But yeah, the only way we win this is if it's Sap Sipper, and I highly doubt it is. This match is over. He's just going to protect him and play it safe. Playing it safe. My soul hurting. Hurting that we, that we brought that match this close just to lose it. It does hurt, but yo, Scissor's hitting like an absolute god. An absolute god. But I'm just going to run this one. One body press is going to finish me off here. That's going to be GG's. I don't want to get things started. Let's hop through a second match. Use Scissor a little bit better there. Use Berserk a little bit better and grab ourselves a win. Second match coming at you guys. We're going up against a cool team, actually. They got Regilecki, they got Enamorous, and they also have Cyclozar, who you don't get to see too much on the rank ladder. Such cool Pokemon. They also have Great Tusk, Cresselia, and Amoongus in their final slot. So they can definitely pop Trick Room. They can really get after it that way. They also can go Shed Tail. But I feel as a good lead could be Berserker and Scissor, or I can go more so into, like... Uh, no, actually, I really like Berserker Scissor. I'm going to go Berserker Scissor as a nice little lead. So they're going to be my lead. And then in the back end, I'm going to go Shen Pao. And then I might just go Don Dozo by itself. Because Don Dozo has decent speed, especially when going up against Stricken Pokemon. But I really like its moveset here. It's got Order Up. It's got Wave Crash. It's got EQ. I really like it up against a few of these Pokemon. So I might just go Don Dozo. Or do I stick with Iron Hands? So Iron Hands, a nice little bulky Pokemon. Can hit hard, too. It has Sword Hands. Actually... I'm going to go in with same squad. We're going to give that same squad another try here. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves one here in match number one. But big part about this team is nice little fake out user with Berserker right off the rip to pair up with Scissor. I might Terrastalize Scissor here and just get off some giant steel damage. Could be the play. Could be the play. But I'm a little upset we lost that first one. Came down to the wire. Scissor was doing some absolute work. Absolute work. But Gujar's just too bulky. But Great Tusk and Crest is going to come out here. Um, Crest could definitely be Cobra Cloak. Most of the time it's Mental Herb. But I'm going to fake out the... Uh, I'm going to fake out you. And do I U-turn out? Or do I stay in here? Because I can U-turn into like Iron Hands here. Which would not be a bad call. I'm going to stay here and stick with my bullet punches. Maybe Terrastalize. I really like the damage we can get off here. I'm going to let Crest do its thing. I'm going to go after the Great Tusk here. I'm going to let Crest do its thing. So we're going to see a Terror type come out from maybe Tusk. Are you fire? Please don't be fire. Let me steal. Why are you steel? And all the typings, you got to be steel. When I'm trying to showcase a nice little steely video. So this thing has Terror Blast. Oh no, never mind. My ability doesn't work for his Pokemon. But chances are they might pop a trick in there. They just might. They just might. So EQ is looking terrifying for me, right? EQ is looking ugly. You do get the fake out though, which I love. We are gonna go for a bull punch, but I don't know how I'm gonna actually deal with that thing. So ripping. That's actually ripping still. So we get a flinch on that thing. Do we double down? Trick room does come out here. That is scary. That is scary. This great Tusk needs to die. It's room service too. We're going for the helping hand boost. <laughs> I'm trying to do as much damage as I can to this thing. I'm going to helping hand boost this bull punch. Let's see how much damage we can do. This thing rips. He hits hard. If I KO this thing, that'd be ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> So close. That could have been a big time KO. EQ is now going to fly here. That's going to take out Berserker. Probably Scissor as well. No, we actually able to soak. He's going to Lunar Blessing up. How much HP is this Tusk going to get back? Nothing crazy. I mean, we can help in hand again and Bull Punch. But chances are, honestly, I think it protects. I think it protects. So I'm going to slide it over the Crest slot here. He does not protect. Wow, we could have discovered the Great Tusk. Really do ourselves well. Oh no, he does protect. Cool. That make the good, good read there. Awesome, lovely read. 
and we get off some damage onto Cresselia. Helping Hand just comes out before to protect, so it threw me off. The Bull Punch gonna fly on the crest, and oh! <laughs> Woo! God dang! God dang! Have you ever seen a Scissor Bullet Punch KO a Cresselia in one shot? Never! Not once. It's absurd. It's absurd. That is absurd. That really is absurd. It really is absurd. So I can actually taunt you. If you want to go for Rage Powder, you can go for Rage Powder. But I'm going to actually... I'm actually going to Helping Hand and go for the Bull Punch and the Great Tusk. Because he's he's probably going to Rage Powder. And chances are, if he doesn't, then I would love to get rid of this Tusk. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Wow, yo, we just dumped on Crest, which was so big. Is he going to Rage Powder? He is going to Rage Powder. So he's gonna EQ. Amoongus is gonna die out here. He's definitely EQ and, and we can chuck up some damage. So Bull Punch gonna fly here. Wow, I can't believe we did that much damage, which is ridiculous. Like, look at that! Look at that! Rocky Owen's gonna hurt me. He's gonna EQ finish me off. How many turns are left in Trigger? I don't have Protect on my Shen Pal. I don't have Protect on actually anybody. EQ now flies. So I might read the Protect on the Great Tusk, but I might not want to, right? Ugh, this is tough. This is real tough. Because EQ is just gonna be deadly to me. EQ is just terrible. I do have Sash on Shen Pao, which is huge. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Psycho Zara comes out of here. Psycho Zara comes out of here. Wow, dude. Scissors ripping. <laughs> I gotta win this. I do have Sucker Punch. Um... Hmm. Cause I could just go fake out here and maybe just go for like a sucker punch into that slot, which I kind of like. I actually really like that more so than anything. So I'm gonna do that. We don't have protect. We're trying to waste out trick and and he ends up just protecting the tusk, which is cool. That's cool with me. That's definitely cool with me. Cause I get the fake out here. We're hoping no covert cloak is here. And sucker punch get blocked. Okay. How many turns is left in Trick Room? It's gotta be close. And you are Cova Cloak? Come on with that. That's wild. So now, Trick Room is gone. I am gonna Drain Punch into you. And Sucker Punch could just KO Cycles R. Cycles R is a late lead. So I'm gonna actually Sucker Punch into Cycles R here. I'm gonna go into you. That is gonna KO you. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, man. Iron Hand should be faster. Right, right, Iron Hands? Yeah, cool. Iron Hands gonna finish that off all day. And what a match in match number two. Scissor and Berserker are OP. One-shotting a Moongus and one-shotting a Cresselia. That is just never heard of. It really isn't. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one. Let's go hop to a third and final. Grab you guys a winning record. Final match on its way. We're going up against a really cool off-meta team. A little bit of a rain squad with Pelipper and Slowbro, also with Cloyster and Samurai. But then they got Tatsugiri alongside with King Gambit. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I kind of like the Don Dozo with the Grass Terror. So I think I'm going to lead it with Berserker just so we can fake out and kind of like get after the match that way. I really do like that. Or I can lead it with like, say, Shen Pao. That's not bad here as well. But I kind of want to go Berserker, Tatsugiri alongside with Scissor and not bring Shen Pao and Iron Hands. I feel like that could be really fun. I mean, I think Iron Hands is going to be great up against these guys, considering he's super effective onto a ton, but I'd rather just use Berserker and Scissor and have some fun with this third and final battle. It's just it's just what I want to do. This is what I want to do. But my nose is so itchy right now. It's kind of bothering me. But you guys can see I have, like, sunburn here and on my nose. Got on my arms, too. But uh, that was from golfing yesterday. Out in the sun for so long. But we'll see who they want to end up leading here. We shall see it. It's gonna be slow bro and King Gambit, which is actually not too bad. I mean I can pick up the King Gambit. I can go into a grass tarot with Don Dozo. Or I can straight up just EQ across the board if I want to. King Gambit is floating with air balloon. Um Yeah, I'm really thinking of just terror blasting into slow bro. And just faking out the King Gambit. Just to knock off that air balloon as well. I wish I did have protect on a few of these Pokemon though. Yeah, I got Sarasalize in the grass. Get right after Slow, but I could end up seeing a uh, Terrasalization. Or well, not Terrasalization, a Trick Room from Slowbro. It's definitely an option. But I really like our Terra type here. I'm going to go into Grass Terra. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Fake Out's going to flinch the King Gambit. And on top of that, take it off the Balloon. 
And I still have the air balloon. And Terror Blast is not going to fly in the circle. It's not going to KO, but it's still going to do a nice chunk of damage. Probably about a little bit more than half. Let's see. Yeah, about that. Okay. Thought we'd do a little bit more, but King Gambit's going to get flinched. Slow Bird's going to pop the Trick Room. And we'll go from there. Shall go from there. Um. Hmm. I think now would be the play to just go into EQ and hard swap Berserker into Tatsugiri. Getting all those boosts. Looking lovely. He might even go after my Berserker with the King Gambit, which I would not mind. Or even with the slow bro. So I'm going to save the Berserker for Scissor. It's going to be really, really lovely together, as you guys seen in that last matchup. And we'll swap into the lovely little fish. The lovely little sushi guy. Hopping into Don Dizzle's mouth. So we get all of our plus two boosts. EQ's going to do a nice chunk of damage onto King Gambit. Not so much onto Slowbro, but still, we can always just tear by Slowbro later. So I might go double EQ this turn. Or this turn, next turn. Or we'll see a Terra type come out here. Are you going to Terra King Gambit like that? Crazy. Throw me off. What Terra type you got? Steel, that's fine. Because I'm still super effective on you. So he gets to the Steel Terra. He's just gonna psychic me down. Okay, that's not gonna do anything crazy. Actually, of course it gets a crit. Of course it gets a crit. And Iron Hand's gonna fight. Yo, if this KOs me, I'll be so upset. Or flinches me. Okay, he's gonna flinch me, watch. No, it does not flinch me, but yo, really? Psychic did that much damage? Like, if Psychic didn't do that much damage, we were really thriving in this match with Don Dozo here. So I get some leftovers back here. But that's not gonna be enough. My Don Dozo goes down all day long. It really hurts. It really does hurt. I'm gonna go for another EQ if we can land it, but it honestly sucks at that that psychic crit right there. Cause this is how much damage it should have been doing. And now Iron Heck can KO us. Heart is hurt. Heart is hurt due to, due to crits, man. It's a rough crit. The Tatsugiri is gonna pop out here. Um, hmm. What do I go into? Do I go into Scissor or do I go into? I might just go into uh, Berserker here. And just fake out again. Fake out Dragon Pulse. We can get a lot of work done here. Hmm. Nice, lovely Berserker. I love this thing. Uh, we're just gonna fake out the Gambo here. Good muddy water across the board, but I'd rather choice to like a Dragon Pulse. We're gonna fake out King Gambit. I'm not gonna take it out. We'll leave that on the field for a little bit. I'd rather get rid of this slow bro. He's gonna psychic into me. Super annoying in Trick Room. And he does a little bit of damage. Of course he's getting a special defense drops. Left and right. Left and right. Dragon Pulse flying out here. Should KO the slow bro. And it does. Cool. We get a crit. When we did not need the crit. God dang, man. So Trick Room's gonna have a couple more turns left in it. Um, From here... What do I want to do? This Gambo's kind of annoying. He's gonna bring out Tatsugiri of his own. Which I don't mind, actually. And Trick Room's not too bad. And I might just Iron Head kind of want to try to start doing some damage onto this thing. But I'd rather double that in Tatsu. He's going to go for Kowtow Cleave. I'm going to be able to soak. Which is big time for us. And his Tatsugiri goes first. That really sucks. His Tatsugiri's on the slower side. Mine's Shui Scarf as well. So <laughs> it's flying. It's cooking. I'm going to be able to Iron Head this thing. Do a little bit of damage. And I feel as... Scissor coming out here is big time. Now, but the move that I want to choice into is going to be tough. It's tough because I can choice into close combat, but I don't really like that. I kind of like choosing into bullet punch. Right? Who could your final Pokemon be? It's going to be a water type. I think choosing... I think just going like here. Helping handing and choosing into bullet punch is the play. I just love the first turn priority. Plus the stab on top of that. Do I still have terror? I don't have terror, so actually maybe choosing into something else could be better for us. Maybe just going into like Iron Head into you and close combat. Batting the King Gambit. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit more. Wait, which draw is the King Gambit? Who's gonna be your final Pokemon here? Let me Pelipper. So Paloops comes out here. And Iron Head's gonna fly. Maybe we can get a flinch on this. That'd be big time if we get a flinch. Oh, we do get a flinch. That is big time. Close combat's gonna fly out here. Do like five damage. Now I'm choosing into that. that was, dude, that just hurts, man. Where's hurting here? 
this is just tough. We are just, yeah, I should have I should have brought Iron Hands, but <laughs> we are just tough. Choice moves are tough, too. Iron Hands gonna fly here. It's gonna come out here, do about five. Maybe get another flinch, which would be big time. Water Pulse can come out here, take out my Berserker. That's gonna be game. That is gonna be game. So yeah, second match, or third match, rough for us. Real rough for us. But first match came really, really close. Second match, we dominated. In this match, it's just not happening. It is just not happening. Because Pelper can take us out at any time here. Once he, once he lands a Hydra Pump, it's game set match. We got our special defense dropped as well. So yeah, Hurricane comes out here. I'm surprised they went for a Hurricane here. And that still does a crazy amount of damage. An immense amount of damage. Yeah, it's going to be game. I'm going to run it. We go one and two for today's video. Not too bad. We got to showcase a combo in match number two. Wish we would have won ourselves at least one more. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, one and two for today's video. Super glad I still got to showcase Berserker and Scissor. Match number two was absolutely amazing. Made this whole video worth it, but again, wish I would have grabbed you guys another victory. But I got you guys in the next video. Don't worry about it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos are good live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.